Hello friends, in this part, we will discuss, how to list or display particular user all post on single page, so one user can see, another user post on single page. In previous part, we have seen, one user can search other under the system, by type username in text box, then all username will be list, which relate to that username. Now, first we have to seen, when filter username list appear below search text box, then we can click on particular username, and seen that user all post on single page. For this, we have go to menu.php file, and here we have write dollar with document selector, with on method, and under this, we have right click event, and type ahead class with list tag. So, when we have click on particular username from filter user list, then page must be redirect, and on that page, we can see that user all post, with that user followers and follow or following button. Under this block, we have defined search query variable is equal to, dollar this with text method, it will return text of that list tag, on which we have click. Below this, we have write window.location.ref is equal to, wall.php file question mark, data is equal to, search query variable, it will redirect to wall.php page, and on that it will display all post of username which has been stored under search query variable. Now we have go to wall.php file, and here we have already included required library like, jQuery, bootstrap and type ahead library. First, we have write, include statement with menu.php file, it will take all the code of menu.php file here. Same way for include all jQuery code, here we have write include statement with jQuery.php file. Now we want to make database connection, so here we have write include statement, with database connection.php file, it will make database connection. Below this, we have write session start function, it will start session on this page. After this, we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write, not operator with is set function, with dollar session user id variable. It will check particular user is login or not, it user is not login and direct access this page, then it will execute this block, and here we have write header method, with location set login.php, it will redirect to login page. Now we want to get particular user all post, so here we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from samples post table, inner join twitter user table. On twitter user dot user id is equal to, samples post table dot user id, where twitter user table dot username is equal to, dollar get data variable. After this, we have write group by statement, with samples post table dot post id table column, and same way we have write order by statement with samples post table dot, post id table column data in descending order. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, 
dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution and for query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query after query execution we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method it will return number of row affected after query execution now here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar total row variable value is greater than zero if this condition true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result here we have use bootstrap panel class for display post list on web page so here we can see skeleton of bootstrap panel class in panel title class we have write echo statement with dollar get data variable with post details it will display dynamic title under this panel title class now we have go to panel body class and under this here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop first we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row profile image variable value is not equal to blank if this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under block we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to images folder slash dollar row profile image variable but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to images folder slash user dot jpg so here we have define if user has upload his or her image then it will display profile image otherwise it will display default user image after this we have define on dollar repost variable is equal to disable this variable value we will use for disable repost button for login user of his post that means login user cannot repost his or her own post for this here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar row user id variable value is not equal to value of dollar session user id variable this condition will be true if post user id value is not equal to id of login user then it will execute if block and under this we have write dollar repost variable is equal to blank so here we have changed this variable value now we have write this html code for display post data so first we want to display profile image so here we have write dollar profile image variable it will display post user profile image after this we want to display post user name so here we have write dollar row username variable for display post content 
here we have write dollar row post content variable, it will display content of the post. Below this, post content we want to make comment button, repost button, and like button. First we want to make comment button, then here we have write, button type is equal to button, class is equal to, post comment class, and id is equal to, dollar row post id variable. Here we will use class name as selector in jQuery code, and in id attribute we have store post id data, after this, we have write data user id attribute is equal to, dollar row user id variable, so here we have store user id data. Lastly, we want to display number of comment, so here we have write count comment function, with dollar connect variable and dollar row post id variable, it will display number of comment on this post. Below this button, we have create on division tag with attribute id is equal to, comment form with particular post id, here we have create this, dynamic unique division tag id for each user. This division tag will be only visible after click on above comment button. Under this tag, first we have write span tag, with attribute id is equal to, old comment with post id, here also, we have create dynamic unique attribute id name, and under this we will display old comment on particular post. Now we have write, text area field with name is equal to comment, id is equal to comment with post, here also we have create dynamic unique id name, under this user can type comment. For submit comment, here we have write, button tag with type is equal to button, name and class is equal to submit comment, and in button text we have write comment, by click on this button user can submit comment. After comment button, we want to make particular post repost button, so here we have write, button tag, with type is equal to button, class is equal to repost, this class we will user in jQuery code, which we have already write, which has been store under jQuery.php. After this, we have write data post id attribute is equal to, dollar row post id variable, and here we have write dollar repost variable. Now we want to display number of time this post has been reposted, so here we have called count retweet function, with two argument like dollar connect variable, and dollar row post id variable. Lastly we want to make like button, so here we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, class is equal to like button, this class we will use selector in jQuery code. After this, we have write data post id attribute is equal to dollar row post id variable. Now we want to display number of particular post like, 
so here we called count total post like function, with two argument like dollar $connect variable, and dollar $row post ID variable. It will display total like of particular post. So here our code is ready for list all post of particular user on same post, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see login page, so in username field we have enter John Smith's and in password, we have enter password, and login into John Smith username account. Here we can see search text box on header of the page, now we have type something, then we can see username list, in which that character has been found in that username. Now we have click on Jacob Martin username, after click on Jacob Martin username, then page has been redirect to wall.php page, with data is equal to Jacob Martin. And here on web page we can see all post of Jacob Martin, so in this tutorial we can see how can we display all post of particular user on same page. Now in next part, we will display particular user all followers, and we will also make also make follow or following button of that user also. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.